Hello there, everybody. This is new Pokemon Snap episode 27. We're about to get something new. Let's find out what that is. Either a location, a new item, a new Illumina Pokemon, something. Another island, another amazing Illumina Pokemon. That's right, it's just like the travel log said. Every part of Lentil is home to its own Illumina Pokemon. The question is, how could Captain Vince have found that out? He only wrote about meeting two Illumina Pokemon, right? Yes, and yet, he also wrote that there were four. Hmm... The mysteries just keep piling up. Yep. <laughs> Indeed, that's what makes this so intriguing. All right, I thought I was supposed to get something new. Okay, there we go. Hey there, Shutterbugs. Remember how I suggested you try doing a little photography here at camp? Yeah, thanks for the tip. It was cool seeing the camp through fresh eyes. In that case, here's another idea. Why not try starting from a different spot? That ought to give you another new perspective. Oh, that's right, I haven't taken any pictures at the camp yet. A different spot? Like where? How about right here? That's different enough, isn't it? You can take a different route around the camp depending on whether you start here or by the lab. Ooh, I'll have to give it a try later then. Sounds good. Just choose the icon in the upper left of the research camp menu to start. Being more deeply attuned to everything happening right around you will make you a better photographer. Anyway, have fun and take all the photos you like. Yeah, I'll mess around with the camp photos and stuff later. Alright, let's see. Research. Alright, as promised last episode... <laughs> I'm going to start by once again trying to get that that uh, Slugma shot. There we go. I could see the Pokemon in my head, but I kept one. I was wanting to say Macargo, and I knew it wasn't Macargo. All right, Slugma. I think we figured out where the Slugma is. Or if it's not that particular one, it's one that's in the lava making the uh, little, like, um, rings again. That uh, town flame was trying to get that Shinx. That actually, those weren't too bad uh, shots there. Typhlosion, do something. Is there an Aerodactyl around here or anything? No. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to make any B4 stars. That was apparently awesome. I'm Inferno. Oh, I picked three, didn't I? All right, well, we're going to quit. Uh, I'm not going to waste my time and everyone else's. The Slugma thing appears to me to be happening on level one so we're going to check level one i thought that since i picked level one last time it would stay level one apparently not it is forever on level three unless changed however we did get some town flame shots so let's uh take a look at that <laughs> sure i mean since we took some pictures might as well send them in I don't expect much out of them. Down flame wins simply because of size. I'm just gonna skip through these because these don't have a chance. Yep. All right. Well, we got a new town flame shot out of it. Uh. Maybe this time I won't mess it up.
All right, let's try this again. Oh, boy. So the only place we see Altaria really is here at the beginning. With exception to the one that's, that gets spooked by uh, Tyrantra. So the four-star behavior's got to be something that's doable here. Alright, that didn't do it. Huh. Alright. Well, we didn't get a whole lot that done there. goes Tyrantrum. He doesn't roar at us if we leave him alone. All right. Can we please get the Slugma thing to work this time? I've already forgotten if it was an Illumina Orb or an Apple that triggered it coming out. I think it was an Illumina Orb. I don't remember for sure. Oops, I'm sorry, Aerodactyl. Not trying to hit you. I was actually trying to hit these guys. Wow, come on. All right, come on, come on. All right, I'm not sure I got anything new there. Hmm. All right. I hope I can actually get the slugma shot this time. Because I'm not going to come here like four times this episode. Bye, Graveler. Hey, it was looking at me. All right. There's a slugma that was right there. Come here, slugma. Get out of there. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Hey, wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Where's the one that goes up the lava fall? Man. Why? Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to look at that clue again before I try that again, because 
I was so sure I'd figured it out, but clearly I haven't. <laughs> well, that's the only Monferno. Uh, it's still better to pick something, so we'll pick that one. Can't pick that. All right, so I've got any real good ones. Six is all right. What about the two stars? Four is all right. Oh, there we go. Twelve and thirteen. Twelve. All right, a little eager there. Jumped the gun a little early. Sure. Graveler. That one. All right. Here we go. Old Altaria wins. Monferno shouldn't win. It didn't win. Tyrantrum shouldn't win. It only lost by one point. Wow. Uh, Slugma. Nope. Aerodactyl shouldn't win. It didn't. Graveler. Nope. All right. Okay, okay. Let's go back to the forest because we're real close to leveling that up. Plus, there were a lot of Pokemon I missed the uh, first time through since I uh, used up all my pictures right away. So, uh... We'll explore that. Plus, I think I missed some alternate routes. So, let's get all that uh, taken care of here. So, I need to be looking for alternate routes as well as Pokemon that I missed the first time through. Something got hit over there. Hi, Esper. All right. Come on, eat it, eat it. Hurry before I go. Okay, I, I missed it pretty much, but all right. Three Pokemon over there. Probably all Esper. No! got a picture of shift tree eating that was not what I was trying to do there but it worked Alright, 
that Bulbasaur ate, but I was a little too late getting at the apple. Wow, you hit a bird that was on a nest. All right, still looking for like alternate routes and stuff. Hit the thing, come on, sheesh. Esper like everywhere in this forest. I think I missed some behavior from that Trevenant. Huh. Well, shoot. that didn't do anything. I think I could have had a two Esper shot there and I didn't. All right. Beware, come back. Hand sham. Anything else around? I missed the male uh, unpheasant because I'm silly like that. Oh my gosh, hit it. So bad at aiming the Illumina orbs. Alright. Lotad. Lotad, get out of the water. Come here. Man. Oh, what am I missing? That's right, the ruins. Oh, come on. I heard you beware. Where are you? I know it was to the right, but did it move, or was, is it still on the right? I don't know. Still not a great run there, but at least we got, like, the low tad. Oh, boy. I get anything new? Okay, apparently a few things. That's good. Right, we already had our three star before. So we need a two star and a one. Let's go with the two, him eating the apple. Esper. I took a two star before, so we need a one star this time. It using psychic should be pretty good. Lotad. Those both are not great. Okay. Kecleon. Uh, two is pretty good. Those are farther away, so it's got to be one or two. Two is more centered. I'm going to go with that. Grandpa. 
Not much better than what I already had. Pan Cham. Five and six. Let's go six. Sawsbuck. Six, it's looking right at me. Bulbasaur. All right, three star behavior again, apparently. Unpheasant. We got a two star photo. Beware. Sure. Well, we got two new Pokemon. We didn't have Beware or Lotad last time. Granted, they're not great shots, but they are new shots. All right. Diamond uh, Shift Tree. There's Esper. Lotad. Kecleon. Not bad. Two good Kecleon photos. Grandpa. Worse than the first. Pancham. Pancham. All right, we've got a three star and a one star for Pancham. Sawsbuck. Almost perfect size. That's a really good sauce book. Bulbasaur. This one should be better. The pose is worse, really? All right. It was better, like I thought, but man. Unpheasant. All right. Beware. Not the best beware photo. But beware is there. <laughs> I at least got that. All right, that should level us up, and it sure does. Level two for the forest. Oh, yeah, we're going to get something. Good. Oh, boy, I got a new request from Phil. Good old Phil. No, I actually don't dislike Phil a whole lot, but uh, I'm indifferent on the character. <laughs> don't really love him or hate him. He's just kind of there. Speaking of which, hey. there was another huge energy reading. Professor. Tell us what happened. <clears throat> yes, I was just about to. There's a tremendous amount of energy coming from deep within the forest. It's got to be an Illumina Pokemon. And I'm almost certain it's connected to the ruins you saw nearby. Can you go check it out as soon as you're ready? Okay. Alright, another Illumina Pokemon. That's right, there are two paths there. I need to figure out how to get that second path. Or, at the very least, the way it's laid out, it looks like two paths. Where's that reading coming from? Hmm. Alright, what Pokemon is it going to be? It's got to be something we haven't seen yet. Cause the Illumina have all been, I was going to say, all been unique Pokemon. Milotic. Alright, I can already tell my daughter's going to love this part of the game. She loves this Pokemon. Follow that Milotic. Milotic, Milotic. Heard it both ways. Oh, the Illumina Orb won't get it while it's under the water. That's right. Did it just I know those don't count, but I wanted to take the picture anyway. Come on. Stick your head out of the water or something. Please. Please. Begging you, please, please, come on. Is there like a crystal bloom or something nearby that I could work with? 
Anything? Uh-oh, where'd it go? Come on, where did it... There we go. I was going to say, really? With my luck, it stuck its head out and I didn't notice. Oh. Okay. So throw it a fluff fruit. To try and get it to come out of the water. Am I supposed to hit it or feed it? My guess is hit it. Yep. All the way over there, really? All the way over there, huh? Come on. Thank you. That one's not going to count because it's not glowing. Oh my gosh, hit it! Oh my, come on. Alright, at least it's glowing again. Oh, wrong button. Hit it with an apple again. Get it up here. Come on. Uh, lead it. Lead it. Lead it by more. Thank you. Oh, wow, that, that shot worked. Ah, no. Oh, that would have been a beautiful shot if I knew it was coming. <laughs> Moved your head right as the Illumina Orb got there, huh? Thanks for that. All right. Are you coming back? Are you done? Are we done? What's going on here now? I see the. I was gonna say I see the end. All right. Well, that wasn't terrible. I think I actually did better than I did in the Volcarona level. <laughs> okay. Finger slipped. Uh, random picture of the end. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. My low tick, one and two star behavior. I'm going to go two star because I feel like that's going to be harder to get. So we got three. Three it is. We also got some ruins apparently in there by accident. All right, how good is this shot, or is it terrible? Pose is great, size is great, direction terrible, but hey, we got a diamond. All right, ancient ruins. All right, we're going to get something else now. All right, level two. We're getting something different here. I would really like the ability to fast forward, so to say, or to speed up like in the old Pokemon Snap. I don't know if that's one of the things they carried over to this game or not. It'd be great if they did. I would imagine they did, but you never know. Especially with how slow some of the courses, like you move on some of the courses sometimes. All right. Uh, 
Anyway, by the look of things, the Teller meteorite affected a very wide area. Yeah, Professor, just like you thought. I wonder if the nearby Pokemon made it through okay. Judging by how far the effects spread, I would assume the impact caused tremendous damage. We haven't found a shred of evidence to support that assumption. Yeah, isn't it weird? Do you think that Illumina Pokemon we saw just now was the last one? Good question. I've actually just discovered something remarkable on that front. Let's discuss it once we're all back together. We're not all together right now. Awesome. Uh, okay, movie scene. Get ready. Because we're going outside the travel box. <clears throat> and into uncharted territory. Yay, new locations. Now then. All right. <clears throat> Four Illumina Pokémon on the islands. Right. So? Uh, so far we've picked up five energy readings and we've finally pinpointed the location of the fifth. All right. Shiver Snowfields. All right, we get it. It's an ice place. All right. Oh, I'm back. Okay. So? Special upgrade. Okay, what kind of upgrade? Yay! I was just talking about it. For accidental foreshadowing. <laughs> yes! Turbo. Turbo. That also means we might be able to get some different shots if we can get to areas before uh, yeah. things are able to happen. Might make it easier to get that slugma shot I was talking about before. All right. All right. Awesome. So we've got the turbo. I know we've got a new area unlocked, but uh, I'm going to try the reef again, but with the turbo. To make it a lot easier to go through some of these older courses again. Alright, I just don't know which button it is yet, but we'll find out once we get started. Alright, what button is my turbo? Not that one. Yay, figured it out. Alright. Means we don't have to wait as long to set up shots like these. All right. All right, we got two Sharpedos just kind of hanging out. Squirtle not doing anything again. And Squirtle riding a Lapras might give me something finally. Nothing, all right. All right, Wingo, how you doing, buddy? All right. We're going to go this way around Whale Lord. Yeah, let me let me speed through here. Try 
to... Alright. Alright, yeah, this changes everything as far as how I get these shots. The only thing I'm missing from Pukumuku is a three star. just figure out how to get a three-star Pukumuku, then maybe, just maybe, alright, come on, there's got to be a way to get a three-star of these guys. Especially with like one of them being way over there. All right, I know some of these have the Pukumuku in their mouths. Come on. didn't want to just show me, like it didn't want to give me credit for Pukumuku in the mouth. There's got to be like another spot, right? Oh, you are swimming around. Is that something different? Interesting to see if anything changes there. I just find it so funny, it's being so hard to find a uh, three star behavior for that Pokemon. Being so difficult, that is. Alright, Finian. Ooh, that's a lot better three star. Okay. Pukimuku, one, two, and four. Oh, and it is looking right at me this time. Alright, Lapras. Apparently. They gave me a Lapras for that shot. That's not terrible. That is not a terrible shot. Uh, Squirtle. Three star riding Lapras. Okay, they finally gave me credit for that. Alright, Wingo Buddy. Any good ones here? Six isn't too bad. Pelipper. Alright, Mantine. Alright, Machamp. And that's it. Okay. At least we got the Squirtle shot, so we got something different there. <clears throat> and that is a much better Finneon. Still not a diamond, but all right. Lapras. Sharpedo. I'm interested to see what this one gets. Size was good. If it would have been in the middle of the frame, that would have been interesting to see how that went. Although I really like the one that we already had. Alright. Uh, Squirtle three star. Riding on Lapras. Alright. 
goal. Nice work. All right. Pelipper. Mantine. Mantine. Nope. Okay. Machamp. Nope. All right. Did we get any closer to leveling that place up? A little bit better. The progression system on this game is a little interesting. Like the fact that we don't have the night for the uh, for some of these other locations yet. I don't know if that's going to happen later in the game, or if I'm not do or if I'm not doing what's required to uh, move on in these places. Sure, let's go to the undersea. We haven't been there for a while. We haven't gone either direction in the undersea for a while. And I don't think we've been here since we leveled up to level 3, so there's a lot we haven't done here. I going to say, first things first, let's get the Loma Mola. Hi, Loma Mola. Hi, Finneon. Love this. You turned around right when I was taking a picture of you, of course. I was terrible love this shot, but all right. Lots are going to go that way. All right, got one of both of them resting. We're going to go this way first because we haven't been on this course in any capacity for a while. Man, you were spinning. I needed that shot. Do it again. All right, there's a Squirtle down here this time. Squirtle here. Squirtle, do something. All right. Squirtle, I don't know what you're trying to do there, buddy, or not do. But you sure as heck aren't doing anything. All right, Finneon's just chilling out. There's the sleeping Luminion. And Luminion. Oh, hi, Luminion. Wilmer. All right. What are you doing there, Octillery? All right. A Loma Mola down here as well. There we go, some different behavior. All right. Got one sleeping. Glad I went this way because I'm already seeing some stuff I didn't see before. Awesome. Oh, there's a quillfish and a clots are kind of going at it. Oh. 
That's already all my memory. Oh man. I get so excited when I'm taking these pictures. Let's go that way again now. Man, sorry everybody. I have no restraint with the picture taking. Although looking at the time on this episode, that may have actually worked itself out uh, quite nicely. Oh, we got a three star. Okay, so the sleeping one is a three star. That one's more in the center. Mantine. I don't think it really matters, so let's take the one with the apple in it because it's funnier. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to beat that first one. Uh, love disc. Got three star of it sitting on Corsola. Clotzer. We got some pretty good ones here. I think I got a good shot of it swimming by me again. Yeah, there we go. 12. That's pretty good. Luminion. The one star is great. There's the two star. Sure. Uh, Squirtle. Just chilling out doing nothing like Squirtle's done this whole game. Yep. Wilmer. Uh, sure. Octillery. Nothing unusual. Quillfish. Four star behavior. All right, so we got four star quillfish. If I would have waited longer to hit it, we might have got a better one. A new discovery. All right. All right, diamond photo. <laughs> nope. Finny on. Nope. Love disc. Claw it, sir. Good, but not as good as the original. Luminion. That one wins. We've got a diamond two star L Luminion. Squirt all this one's gonna lose. Yeah. Cradley. Nope. Wilmer. Nope. Octillery. I need to take I need to quit taking pictures of ones I've already got <laughs> diamond star ratings for. All right, we got Quillfish's page complete now. All right, pretty good there. All right. Thank you all very much for watching. If you liked what you saw today, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, you know, do all that YouTube nonsense. And I'll be here again next time. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.